Alrighty, candidates, welcome back to the network. My name is Nomad7. I'll be your host, your friend, and mission handler here on this channel. Here we're going to have Battlecast, another game of Company of Heroes 2, a uh, strategy game where it takes place in the World War II era setting. And uh, hopefully, we'll break down a few strategies, a few uh, key plays, and hopefully, make you a better player in this game and field overall. Uh, and we'll just have some fun with it, too. So let's see. We have uh, International playing British. We have Great Proletarian Union. I keep having trouble saying his name. Uh, as USF, he's gone Airborne Company, while his counterpart has gone Royal Engineer Regiment. Uh, both of them very good, uh, respectively, um, as a strategy. And here we have. Don Hollow as OKW, and here we have myself, Sub's Revenge, uh, playing his counterpart. So, let's see, standard units here, two Vokes, a Grenadier, a Pioneer, an MG, MG early uh, setup on the VP here. The Engineer Rush with UCV is countered by the MG. Uh, if they just pushed a little farther, I think if they just went this way up on north here, they would have had a little bit better time pushing off the MG uh, as the Royal Engineers are very good. Uh, they're like the Stern Pios, uh, very good at close range and the UC can Hold back the Grenadiers for a little bit with some added pressure from the infantry section. It would have been an easy push for them. Double uh, Pathfinders here from the USF with the Engineer or the Echelons here. Uh, we've got Stern Piles waiting in ambush uh, between the fence of the house here. We have defenses going up, sandbags. Always a good plan while you're having some hang time to put some sandbags or some sort of uh, heavier cover that your units can utilize. Here we have the UCV deploying their engineers. Uh, going to work, as you can tell, the Grenadiers are forced back. And these Grenadiers are making a slower hold. No, not for long, however. Pioneers moving up against the MG. They might set up before. Yeah, they do. MG still holding right flank here. Triple Pathfinders now. Uh, moving to reinforce and capture middle point. Stern Pios are pushed off now. Uh, I can assume because of the triple Pathfinders. What a hassle that is. Uh, Volks Grenadiers just standing around. Uh, would have been preferable if they started putting some pressure here. But you can only get so much. Here we have our uh, forces being reinforced. No sense of urgency to push the right side from the Allied. Uh, looks like the engineers are building landmines. I guess they're trying to uh, uh, anticipate a vehicle rush, either coming from here or cutting them on the retreat. So here we have more landmines going down. Landmines are perfect for cutting off or slowing down vehicles. Uh, we have snipers from my side. We have a 221 from Don Hollow. Uh, whose vision is pretty wide in comparison. Uh, this is cut off by the thick vegetation here. But it uh, looks like they were not able to find the Pathfinders first.
Look at them go. Four Pathfinders. That's just obnoxious. It was obnoxious when I... Yeah. I hate that they're just standing around. I wish they kind of did more. Put some more pressure out here. I mean, it's just a rear echelon. Um, they could have moved the 221 over here. Spot that and just kept moving. But uh, they did not. Um, or Don Hollow did not, rather. That's okay. Here we have... The Grenadiers moving forward. Uh, we've got one squad slightly suppressed, but otherwise it is pushing back effectively. The UC and the sniper is going to work, taking advantage of the Grenadiers' vision here, or su supplied vision rather. Sniper has to relocate because Pathfinders will shred snipers with ease. Um, especially if there's three of them. Everyone just needs to shoot once and he's dead. The 221 is doing some infantry work here. Royal Engineers trying to hold the front line against right side. Pioneers uh, spotting mines here. Both lines are spotted now, I believe. Yes. Royal Engineers trying to push them off. 2-2-1 two, two, now out in the field. Quadruple Pathfinder still out there. I really don't like that he's just standing around. That's just such a waste. In all things considered, uh, a lot of lull time is not very good for someone that's... For a side, rather, that's trying to push, be more aggressive. Um, I kind of wish that he was more aggressive on this side, but again, what are you going to do? Just need to have some more battle space awareness. Here we have the U.S.'s uh, AT along with the British AT covering right side. Um, looks like they're just trying to counter my uh, moderately aggressive plays here. I can't tell if they're building more mines. It looks like they are, yeah. I don't know why they would... I mean, it makes sense to double up. Um, it'll not only wipe light vehicles, but it'll severely damage uh, heavier ones or medium tanks. Finally, there's a push on left side here. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any sense of urgency to reclaim it. We've got quadruple pathfinders now. At least uh, two squads with mo one model down. And one squad, full health, uh, well, all full models are standing, but uh, one in severely low health. Pathfinders are going to work, shredding the infantry here. And Sniper is here to support in some way. Volk's Grenadier is finally pressing forward. Except this one's standing around. Yeah, the micro's not very good here, unfortunately. Sniper does not have the uh, most use of his range, so 221 comes into play, trying to uh, help out. But uh, until then, AT is going to be placed in position. And that was a very lucky miss on their part. A league now adding support. Stern Pios wipe out the rear echelon. Uh, that's going to be a detriment to them in terms of repair. The Pathfinders are still vetting up. We've got one vet two, two vet ones, uh, and the Cassid is also a vet one, so that will increase their effectiveness in the combat here. Let's see, Recon is up and running. Red Q has been upgraded. Medium armor and rocket artillery is now AT available. is going up. Close, closer towards middle. Royal Engineers versus Pioneers. It's gonna hurt. And the British start calling down their uh, base artillery. 
try to wipe the AT, was not successful. Pioneers trying to take advantage of the uh, push, but looks like they're shredded. Quite unfortunate. AT pushing up. Uh, the Pathfinders have an excellent vision uh, when they get to Vent 2, I believe. Actually, that one gives them extra vision, so there you go. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt any vehicle uh, when they're teamed up with the AT crews. Pioneer, new Pioneer squad. Grenadiers are surviving so far. It's gonna be a slow game, unfortunately. Everyone is playing very defensively. Yeah, I don't like how they're just sitting there. It's very, very unfortunate. I'm trying to figure out where his 2 2 1 went. There it is. It's just sitting there. I wonder if he sits there all game. Oh, there it is. It's doing a lockdown, uh, which increases resource production. Yeah, I would have preferred it if it was still in battle, but oh well. I'm trying to see if it does anything at Vet 5. Yeah. It would have been nice if they were a little bit more effective, but unfortunately they were not. Uh, 2 2 2 tries to go around. I don't think there were any lines in the back side. AT crews miss both. Oop, nope. Hits the shot. Makes it down to half, trying to avoid the Royal Engineers to avoid their snare. So this is very, very uh, key play here because without mines on the flanks or anything to avoid a light vehicle push, uh, you'll be very much open to a 222 attack like this. Uh, going around to your retreat center here and just starting to cause some havoc. Fire. Now, of course, you do have a weaker front line uh, because of it, but you can make good use of it if you are very careful with your micro. Quadruple pathfinders obnoxiously tearing down all the support crews. Bulk Grenadiers just sitting there. Again, of course. Schwer in the back helps at least hold a back line for some reason. And the... Uh, I want to call them... What are they called? Obersoldatens. Uh, are going to have to take some time to heal up now. As well as the 221 that needs repairs. Uh, but so far, uh, access are nearly perfect. Uh, very, well, actually perfect on VP. They're still at 500. Um, so, uh, even though that uh, the allies are winning on the infantry game, uh, they are not winning on the VP game, which is the whole point of the competition here. Uh, that you can accomplish not only a numerical defeat, uh, but also a objective defeat here. Not let up. The enemy still has 300 points. See them before they see us. All right, fellas, Scott's now check. hammering the MG point. A little late on that retreat there, but oh well. 2 to 1 now running. moving forward. There we go. 2 to 1 and Oswin going to work. Sniper trying to go against the swarm of Pathfinders. Uh, MG pushes the Pathfinders back. Scott still hammering the MG, forcing it back. Oswin also forced back by the double AT in the center uh, by the British player, International. Uh, left side is completely unguarded. No mines, no defenses, no nothing. Which would have been a great time to push with both infantry on that point. Uh, could have moved the MG into 
either of these houses here, preferably this one for better angles and sight lines, as opposed to here where you could toss a grenade through the bush. But uh, P4 is now out on the field. Royal Engineers, double Royal Engineers, uh, also on the field now. Uh, Scott fully repaired. ATs are all healed up and ready to roll with no structural damage, it doesn't look like, or very little at this point. Double Lee going to work uh, from the back line here. 2 to 1 also uh, betting up with increased sighting and weapon accuracy. Sniper using advantage of the sight. Two, 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 going around the uh, British MG. Vickers is now on the retreat. Oh, wiped out by the sniper. P4 now playing against the triple Pathfinders here. I don't know where the other one went. There it is. Did they upgrade them with a bar? They upgraded it with a bazooka for some reason. <coughs> okay, well, uh, considering that Pathfinders are primarily anti-infantry, uh, it's not impossible to give them the, uh, I don't know what died. Was it the 222? Because there's the Oswin. Yeah, I think the 222's dead. Yep. <laughs> what is this? Do all of them have bazookas? One, two, three, four. That is wild. They gave most of their Pathfinders bazookas for some reason, which is beyond me. Lee is going to work against the supporting forces here. A good hit would just nail more models back there. Double Scott, uh, but with triple VP control by Axis, uh, it's going to be a quick, quick game in terms of VP. Trade A over Soldatans are dead uh, by, I believe, the Double Scott. Pathfinders are moving back up. P4 going against the Scots and will effectively win that engagement. However, being pushed back by Pathfinders that have not only increased range, but accuracy uh, when engaging um, will definitely hurt the medium panzer here. Looks like a Churchill is now in play. Very buff, uh, very healthy tank. Volks are pushed off. MG is completely flanked out by the uh, infantry section here, so a good choice is to retreat instead of trying to play tag and uh, get ultimately flanked by uh, the Royal Engineers equipped with flamethrowers, uh, which would really burn them out. Sniper's running with his life after trying to achieve a cheeky flank. Oswin trying to push back the Royal Engineers. Pack 40 setting up against the Churchill. Well within its arc and line of fire here. Panzer Grenadiers uh, with their assault rifles will effectively uh, push back the AT crews to some degree. And the Grenadiers are now pushing towards the Churchill while it's just sitting there eating the Pack 40 fire. Um, can we get a snare off? Don't think we could. One AT goes down, two AT goes down. Uh, can we get a third from the P Grens here? It has Panzer Grenadiers are now equipped with Shrex, adding more AT damage to the Churchill. Uh, there was enough beauty for me to uh, Faust it, but unfortunately I did not choose to do that instead go after, there we go, we Faust one of the Scots. Triple Scots, I don't think that was a good play here, uh, but it does 
pay off to some degree as the P-Reds are wiped off the face of the earth. Oh, Pack 40 could have moved a little closer during that entire engagement, but either way... Oh, we do see a kill here. I don't think it was from the Pack 40, however. We are going to see another uh, Scott kill very soon here. There it is, there it goes. Two Scots down and out. His better play instead of getting uh, the third Scott would have been a Sherman with HE. Uh, a little bit more health and vetted. The HE rounds are quite, quite powerful, especially against uh, the back of crew supported guns. Has slipped to 100 points. Pathfinder's just sitting there. Uh, they are not doing well with VPs at all. Triple cap, perfect 500 game. Uh, I really doubt that they're going to be able to push left side or right side at all. I don't know why they think center is the way to go. But triple, or yeah, double vet three pathfinders. Uh, in any sense of the word, very... Very capable units. P4 going around. Trying to get eyes on this little section here. Capturing left side. Oswin coming in now. Trying to deal some damage. Uh, Pathfinders engaging the Oswin, pushing it back effectively. Sniper is still in play. Um, let's see, is this the. Has it been alive for a while? Some. Somewhat. It's got seven kills. We have hammered the enemy down to 50 points. We have double vokes fighting against the Pathfinders in little cover here. Uh, leagues going in. We have the Raquette Warfare just in case. And here is the Panther coming through the battlefield, just zooming around, just having some fun. MG going to work against the Churchill. Not the best engagement. Uh, switching targets to uh, infantry will get you better, um, better results here. Pack 40 now setting up against the Churchill. MG still trying to shoot the armor for some reason. Uh, MG might go down here. It does. Uh, call down is coming in from the US. It'll be the rocket strafe. Looks like the Panther is gone. It must have been mines that took it out or something. Oh no, it was the 17 pounder. That's what it was. Uh, but it doesn't matter now because the game is over. Uh, they lost their AT guns uh, all up but one. They established this emplacement way too late. And for some reason, uh, quadruple Pathfinders with Zooks, um, for some reason, is just not the right play here, if I could be very truthful. Uh, again, it's, it's all about how you use your forces effectively and knowing what their best strengths are. Um, it is somewhat of a numbers game, but it's also a strategy game uh, in the finest sense of the word. Uh, so I hope you learned something from this battle cast, candidates, um, placement, communication, and battle space awareness, as well as some unit knowledge will help you out a lot. Uh, it's a shame we didn't get to see the Sturm Tiger blow it all up but let's see if we can change the angle here because that looks pretty dope I'm not gonna lie look at that uh but either way thank you for watching my name is nomad7 uh please consider following liking subscribing and sharing my channel and everything you do helps out this channel a lot uh in my fight against child trafficking as i try to bring the education and awareness to our gaming community so that being said, thank you all so much. And remember, candidates, don't leave it a chance. Leave it to us. Nomad7, signing off.